Good evening, everyone. My name is Seath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome to another Lumber Tycoon 2 video. Tonight, I'm going to be going and getting some yellow wood, some glow fur, if you will. And uh, the reason I wanted to do that is because I've been building on this base for a while, and I've not really shown you guys the whole process of like what it takes to go get yellow wood. So that's what we're going to be doing tonight. Happy Friday, by the way. Uh, I do apologize about not having a video yesterday. Sorry, not sorry. I was really tired and I got a lot of sleep. Um, to the extent that I am well rested tonight and I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to go to bed. <laughs> so, oh well. Um, you may have asked, uh, what, what did you just do there, Code? Well, I built this awesome like uh, bridge to kind of move that thingy. Hold on. Got a whole bunch of presents in the way. No! Uh, somebody dropped off a bunch of presents for me. Thank you. Uh, I have to move them out the way, though. Ooh, and I got one of the teal bobble heads. Teal bo Should we put a teal bobble head on the on the truck? Let's do it. Let's do it. Whoever's presents these are, I'm gonna I'm gonna use one of your uh, gifts to bobble head it up. Now, hopefully, uh, the first jump into there will be correct. Hi, buddy. Hi. Best best wind. Best weld. Best welds. Hi, best welds. How are you? All right, so let's drop this onto here. Boop. There we go. And let's go. Make sure that you have an axe. Make sure you have a truck. And I'm not moving for some reason. Why am I? Why am I not moving? Hold on. Uh oh. That's no good. Hold on. Did we get welded to something? Maybe. There we go. All right. Uh oh, but my thing fell off. Okay, maybe was it was it the bobblehead? Was the bobblehead doing it? Hold on. There we go. Drop that on there. Close this. Oh yeah, it's it's the bobblehead. The bobblehead is preventing me from moving. So let's unhitch. Drop you down. Sure enough. It works now. Huh. Crazy. Okay. So let's go. Oh, oh, sorry, dude. <laughs> I don't I don't want him getting hurt because I'm jumping into the water. So the way that this works is my bridge comes across here and it has a, like this little um, stair step thingy that goes down. Uh, to get into the water, you want to make sure that you go in at an angle. And drive straight across to this little spot right over here. Woo. And then... It's just a matter of like letting your health get all grown up. Oh, do I need a? I need a plank, don't I? Ah, oh, dang it! Dang it, code! You forgot the plank. That's okay. That's okay. I'll bring. I'll bring uh, like one or two trees back, and then I'll go get a, a thing. Right now, we're waiting for my health bar to go back up to the top. And once it's back up to the top, I'll go. Uh, I'll go drive down in here. Go get it. Get the wood. Uh, shout out to Flappert. I think he's the one that showed me how to do this. That or it was Vincent. Either Flappert or Vincent. I don't remember which one. But that's the, uh, the stair steps with the doors. Yeah, that's good enough. Here we go. Uh, into the water. Go to first person. Kind of zoom out a little bit. Straight across. It is harder to see in the dark now for some reason. Or in underwater. Then you drive to this little peninsula right over here. And the area that we're going to be trying to get to is just on the other side here. Now, I will warn you, the first time, like, I came down here, I got very emotional. Because this is actually the memorial to Tic Tac Tort. Tic Tac Tort. So, if you haven't seen that video, go, go watch that one. I'll try and leave a link, maybe. If I can find it. If not, I'll, I'll probably just keep going. I'm green. Does that mean I've got enough to go? You know what? I'm, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it. Hopefully, I have enough. Enough help. Go straight across. Going out. Oh, and uh, there was somebody that wrote a comment in my comment section today, and it was it was very nice, like 
code. I'm almost 35 and you make me feel like a kid again. I've asked you to sign my base before, but that was a really long time ago. And you said you would, but that's where it was left. Uh, dude, contact me on Twitter. I don't respond well to, like, comments. And that's not that I don't read the comments anymore. Hold on. <coughs> Make a wish. I just sneezed on camera. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. And I didn't cover my face or anything. But you know what? I'm in, I'm in my studio. Nobody else comes in here. This is all me. So I guess I don't really need to worry about the spread. Uh, I don't have the corona. I don't think. I don't think I have the corona. Maybe. Um, but, you know, social distancing. Wear a mask. Hello. Little spider web on the camera. Camera's right here. Whoa, it got dark real fast. It's a shadow of the camera. Um, I don't have any coffee tonight, so I can't control my ADHD um, to the fullest extent that it should probably be controlled. But I did call the doctor, and uh, they got my refills for my um, ADHD meds. Um, I take Buripopertin or something like that. It's a it's a generic version of Welbutrin. And Welbutrin is supposed to be like an, uh, I think it's an antidepressant, but it's not what I use it for. Because I mean, I don't, I don't have depression, okay? I'm, I'm actually a pretty happy person. But the effect that that uh, medicine has on ADHD is concentration. My life is full. I can go. <clears throat> so, it allows me to concentrate and work and remember things like nobody's business. It's really good. Anyhow, that's what I've been taking and that's what I ran out of. So, um, as soon as I get a chance to get up to the pharmacy. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Okay, you know what? Let's just chop this right here. There we go. That's good. Now remember what I've always said. Don't let joints into the, the into the, the thing. You want to make sure that you always chop off the joints. Come on. Why are you not chopping? Oh, there we go. Only put straight pieces into your your truck. The the turns, the little catches, you can't have those. Plus, this is like one of the coolest growing trees inside lumber. If you've ever looked at the actual structure of it. Because, I mean, it's, it's kind of hard to look at because the structure is like all glowy. Hold up. Can we, uh, settings, graphics quality all the way down? No, it still glows. Hmm. Settings. Can't, can't turn them on or off. It just, it still glows. Okay. We'll just do max for now. Anyhow, you should really take a look at the structure of the tree itself, because it's just amazing. Uh, I kind of wish there were a way to, like, get most of the tree back, but we both know that that just doesn't happen all the time. So, stack them in the best you can, and get ready to drive on back. That was a big piece. Hold on. And it shouldn't take you more than like one or two of these trees. They, they are massive trees. And yes, there's a lot of people who feel strongly about the trees. They're like, Code, don't take them. They're, they're memorial to Tic Tac. Yeah, but I also know that Tic would have said, hey, take them. If, if Defaulty put them in the game, we should definitely use them to build with. So... You know what? That would be really good to do. I should, I should make the. Uh, I'm gonna do that. Let's go. Let's go make her, uh, her memorial, and we'll we'll build it onto the base. Oh, come on, come on, come on! Just a little too thick. Li little too thick. There we go. Oh, come on. Oh, no, that was a horrible spot. We don't want to chop there. We want to chop down here. Oh, no. Okay. Well, maybe that works. 
Drop it in. Drop it in. Come on. Did that? It did. It left a little bitty piece right there, didn't it? Okay. That, that took care of it. That's fine. There we go. <sighs> okay. You know what? I'm going to try and take this large piece and just toss it in the back. I don't... Whoops. I don't think it's going to stick with us. I think it's, it's going to be too heavy on the back end. But... Give it a try. All right, that's good. That's good. All right, fingers crossed. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, we lost it. We lost the big one somewhere. That's okay. That's okay. We'll be okay. We'll be fine. Back to the left goes back up a little bit more. Okay. We're good. Come on, come on. Straight across, straight across. We'll go up, 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 up. Out of the water. Now, I've had a lot of people comment and say, Code, what if we don't have a bridge like that? Well, you can still do the wall glitch and, like, get up to the side, but it takes a little while and you have to long plank over to it. Or you have to you have to wall glitch over to the side. So I'll show you that as well, but it's not my go-to technique anymore. It's just a regular regular bridge. So Oh, by the way, this is probably gonna be a short video today. I'm not I'm not going 30, 30 minutes or so. Okay? So just so you know. Oh, by the way, the new vehicles are out on Fortnite. Oh my gosh, some people are already like building at the same time driving upwards. Those things are crazy. Oh, and you may have seen that I've been inside studio lately. I kind of want to get one of these games that I started a while back to a to a playable state. Maybe not finished or polished or anything, but it's called uh, Rocket Lander. I would really like to get going on it. Okay, so... Um, this method is you take one of the trees, drop it down like that, and then you step behind it like this, and you lift up, you go up to the top. It takes some practice, and it can be done. I've done it before. In fact, this is this is how I used to get my yellow wood before the uh, the glitch. So, anyhow, I'm out of practice, so I'm just I'm just gonna drop that down there, and we need to go get a long plank because oh my gosh. Oh, no! Did some of my doors not stick? Hold up. Oh, some of my doors didn't stick. No! Oh, people are talking to me. Hi there. Goldbridge? Have you really not found it yet? What? I am... Code. What? Oh, hi. Dream come true! <laughs> hi, buddy. Here, are you, are you taking a selfie? Here. Jeez. Jeez. Code, no joke. You are in my bucket list. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I'm in a bucket. <laughs> well, it will really freak you out. To know that you are in a video too. Smiley face. <laughs> I'm gonna have to reset because, um, yeah. Okay, so here, let's just drop that down there, and then <laughs> I'm shaking. This was the last server I was gonna play before quitting. <laughs> YouTubers suck. Ah, you have hashes. <laughs> Be nice, or I mute, mute you. I have a low channel though. Well, then why are you mean? <laughs> I could be like a stepping stone. Stom. I could be a stepping stone. Heh. 
<laughs> you are in a video. You could be like, hey, sub to me. My channel is insert blah. And I would probably not notice. <laughs> Hi, YouTube. Make sure to like and subscribe and, and help them out. That's right. <laughs> okay, I don't think I'm going to be able to get on to that without my the help of my stepladder thingy. Okay, so. Okay. Great <clears> hat. <throat> oh, no. Hold on, I'm a sub. All right. You can sub if you want to. Where are you, Code? I'm right here. Hello. Hello. I have to fix my bridge. It broke. But I have to figure out which part broke. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, golly. <laughs> Actually, I probably know because... <clears throat> Can I give you something? Yeah, you can. Yes. Okay, so. We have to climb up, 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 up. Up, 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 up. Sounds kind of like Popeye. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. Never mind. Never mind. Bad. I've always kind of wondered, like... I've seen people that have Tourette's, okay? And they usually have little ticks, like... Um, Right? And they do these things. And I've always wondered if, like, <clears throat> if ADHD kind of has that same OCD impulse need. Because it really is. It's For somebody that has Tourette's, it's like holding in a sneeze. It's just... It's hard to do. Right? It goes against what their brain is programming, programmed to react to or to perform. So, um, and I'm not going to pretend like I'm a medical officer. I don't, I don't know, or a medical or a doctor or anything, okay? I don't know. I'm just making assumptions based on the things that I observed in my own ADHD states. Um, one of the things I have observed is, like, the need to make things even. So, like, if I, if I tap my leg three times on the right side and then two times on the left, I have to tap it a third time on the left so it makes it even. There's no reason for it. It just, it just, that's the way it has to be done. It has to have equal amounts. So what's really funny about that is like my base, my base down there can be completely distraught and it doesn't bug me. But if I were to eat cotton candy and I left some of the cotton candy on the, the paper roll thingy, it would bug me. I can't throw that away. That's some cotton candy. I got to eat it. Just stuff like that. I don't know. Am I weird? Probably. Is it normal? Probably. Hey, I found it. Move. B. There we go. That should fix it for us. So let's go back down here. Do 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 Okay, I don't want to open it from that side. I need to open it from this side. Good. Uh-oh. I think that worked. Okay, so I also need a long plank. So let's go ahead and grab a long plank of some kind. You'll do. You'll do. I think that's long enough. Is that is that long enough? From the bridge to the thing? Yeah, that'll be fine. Do you believe it's destiny? Do I believe in destiny? Code, do you believe in destiny? I do. Um, she was a very nice lady. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yes. Uh, I believe... I believe in free will. Okay? And that's to say that there's a lot of things in this world that you're like, oh my gosh, it had to happen that way. It had to be done. But then at the same time, there's a lot of things that are so perfectly programmed, so perfectly laid out that I can't deny that there wasn't some kind of 
bait that causes it to be like that. <clears throat> of course, I'm also going to say this. I'm a Christian, and I believe in revelations. So I believe that no matter what the outcome is or what our decisions are, eventually the end has to come to a certain path. But does free will play into that? Absolutely. I believe in it. So, And these might be bigger... In fact, I know these are a lot bigger issues and a lot bigger topics to discuss than what I normally discuss. So I'm going to gonna kind of just leave it there for a second and not discuss it further just because I don't... I don't want to drive away people who don't like talking about the things like that. And it's not religion. Not, well, I guess I guess it's somewhat religion. Mm. Is this not long enough? Oof. Oof. Hold on. Don't step on it, Steven. Don't step on it. This is going to fall. This is going to fall. This is going to fall. Oh, it didn't fall. Yay. <laughs> He's like, evil water. Do, 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 I didn't whitelist you. How did you get a hold of that? Um, how? You're not whitelisted. How did you steal my piece of wood, dude? That has me worried. He said, what? <laughs> He's like, magic? Oh, did I wait too long? Huh. Yeah, I waited, I waited too long. That's yours now. He's like, I have no clue. I have no clue as to why I can now steal your wood. <laughs> it's not my problem. <laughs> Sounded like Winnie the Pooh. <clears throat> da force. <laughs> da force. I like that. That's funny. This is going to be a long walk, isn't it? And we're going to have to walk this a few times. Oh, wait. Can I... Could I get a car up here and drive it back and forth like that? I could, I think. Hmm. Hmm. It, would that be a better way, I think? You have a Volt bike. Nice. Code, can you please answer? I can't answer you, dude. I can't answer you. Hold on. I can't answer you because my hands are full. <laughs> I'm like, whenever I pick up stuff, I can't type. He's <laughs> like, Code, answer me. You see my hands full, dude. That's a good thing. I'm glad we don't have to talk with our hands, like, in real life. I'm glad that we have the ability to, um, wee. I'm glad we have the ability to, uh, talk with our mouths. Up and over, up and over, drop it in. Okay, and then I think what I'm gonna do is is this is this a car car? Yeah, this is a this is a truck. Come on, come on. Did I click it? There we go. I'm gonna take this truck, I'm gonna drive it up, take us just a second, and then I'll be able to like stack everything inside the truck and then drive it across. That'll be fun. Oh dude, the shadow of my thing is there. That was kinda cool. What was I talking about? I don't remember. Who cares? I like playing Roblox. I like having fun in Roblox. I like programming in Roblox. Uh, code, do you need help getting the yellow wood? I have some at my base, and I'm quitting either way if you want some. 
I'll, t I'll take some if you're like willing to just give it away. Uh, hold on. Yes, please. But I'm not here for much longer. Just till, just till the end of five minutes. So I lied. <laughs> it's gonna be a 30-minute video, like always. <laughs> Okay, I better hurry up, I guess. That's if you want. I mean, you don't have to. There's never any pressure to donate to me or to, to like, give me money, ever. Okay. My company, my companionship does not cost a dime. Oh. Now, I'm not gonna say that doesn't apply forever and ever, okay? So, if I ever get as big or bigger than Dan TDM, Doubtful. Then they have these these like backstage passes and meet the content creator passes and stuff like that that they do at these big convention thingies, and they usually sell those off at like forty bucks a pop. I'm not sure that I would ever truly feel comfortable with that, but also I don't I don't have a, a manager or anything like that. So, well, I guess my wife is my manager technically, so. That could be considered an option later on, but I'm not I'm not charging anybody for it. Oh my gosh. Skills. <laughs> oh, that was unexpected. Well Okay, I thought I thought it was gonna be the better better part of five minutes. Uh, please give actual answer before you up for grinding. What? Why are you private messaging me? <laughs> it's a video. Everyone can see it. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh, did I go too soon? He's like, I know. Got him! Got him! Okay, please give an actual answer. Uh, answer you up for grinding. Are you talking about. Uh, I'm, I'm not up for grinding inside Lumber Tycoon 2. But he said something about jailbreak? I might be down one of these nights to, to go and grind, but I mean, for the most part. The only time I get to play is this 30 minutes at night time. It's this last little bit that I get. And I've been trying to squeeze in these uh, these pixel lists, the arcade games. And it's just, ugh. I am so pressed for time, always. That's why I don't edit my videos anymore. I mean, I used to edit long time ago. And I know I talk about it like, oh, it was just yesterday I was editing. And no, I'm talking like it's been four or five years since I last edited, edited a video. Every once in a great while I have to edit something, but... Oh, come on, come on, wee! Please, there we go. I did it, Piglet, I did it. Mm. Code, never end YouTube. There are lots of people who look up to you. Oh. <laughs> I'll try not to. I'm not going to give you a guarantee because there's never there's never guaranteed answers about what may or may not come of YouTube. Because what if YouTube itself shuts down? I mean, I have no way of controlling that, right? But as long as YouTube is around, I should be here doing something. So, code, I am here. And who knows? What if I uh, what if I wanted to start building games? Like, what if I made my own gaming company or my own gaming programming service? Because I thought about this, and I'm not going to say the idea out loud, but I have an idea for people who don't script and they have ideas for video games. Right? There's there's ways of getting people to uh, program you games. 
you know? I'm, like, like I said, I can't, I can't give the details. Because I'm not sure if I want to do it or not. But I would love, I would love to start up a service like that. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get, take a shortcut. Ready? Shortcut? Ready? Shortcut! Woo! Please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. Thank you. <laughs> I told my mom when I was playing with you. <laughs> Say hi to mom. She's on YouTube too. <laughs> I love it when parents get involved and they're like, oh my gosh, my son was playing with you the other day. And then I get these comments from like dads and moms and stuff like that. Grandmas too. Oh, the grandmas are so nice. They're like, I just want to tell you that I think you're doing a really wonderful job. And, and little Caleb, he looks up to you and watches your videos every day. You talk about some serious issues at times, and I just think that's the best thing in the world. Thank you. I'm like, oh, Grandma, thank you. I really do. I, I love those kind of comments. And um, I see a lot of the times people will put in a comment saying, pin me, pin me, and that's it. That's all you put into the comment. If you truly want to get pinned on my channel, you write something that's straight from your heart, and it emotionally moves me to the point that I stop my comments to reread it like two or three times. Those are the kind of comments, the, the ones that can bring a tear to my eye because of how emotionally moved I am by it. That's the comment that gets pinned. Not this, pin me, pin me. I don't, I don't pin those. Now, I will heart most comments to show you that I've read it. Um, it doesn't mean I agree with you. It doesn't mean yes. A lot of people are like, oh, do a collab with me. And I heart their comment to show them, hey, I, I read your comment. And they're like, yay, what day do you want to collab? I'm like, that's not what it, I didn't say yes. I didn't even reply to you. I just, I said it. Oh, hi, Cole. I didn't even notice that you were doing. <laughs> My dog died. Uh, not to sound mean, but yes, dogs do pass. And it seems to be common. Okay, so um, let's talk about death. Let's talk about pets. So I am sorry that your your dog passed away. It's never fun, it's never easy. And it's something that when you first get a pet, you have to expect. It was a 19 year old dog. Oh, poor Papo. It's, I have Charlie Dog. He's a black lab mix and he is getting old. We've had him since Hope was two years old. So Hope is now 13. That means that dog is 11 years old. I know that someday he will pass away and he's getting up there in age. Like he's, he's on his, he's past his expiration date, I guess, because dogs are only supposed to live 10 to 13 years or something like that. Did you just pick that up again? Dude. You are not whitelisted. Stop picking up my stuff. <laughs> Bye, CA. Sorry, code. I dropped it. Why are you picking it up? <laughs> uh. So that's... that's. I am sorry about your dog. Um, and at the same time, I'm like, all pets should pass away before you do. Unless you're, unless you're old. And like grandma, grandmas and grandpas their pets might outlive them. That's not to say anything about about grandmas and grandpas. It's just saying, like, most pets, usually when you get them, something that you should think about is their end, their, their passing. And be prepared for it. Now, no one can ever truly be prepared for death, no matter what. Oh, <gasps> there were two down there, weren't there? Is there another one over there? Oh, there's another one over there. Okay, so we, we lost three of the pieces. It's part of life. It's what it means to be an earthling. Part of this earth. As far as I can tell. Because I don't think there's any other, any other life forms out there. Although, we have been discovering new uh, what is it, UFOs and stuff like that. So, 
Who knows? That's why I say Earthling. I'm not gonna complicate it and be like, human being! No, it's... Because animals die too. Animals have life expectancies. Trees. Cats, dogs, birds. What in the world? Seriously? Okay, that was that was odd, to say the least. Okay. Huh. Hmm. Let's see. Let's go over here to this corner. Whoa! Whoa! Let's go over here to this corner. That way I can ensure that they're not dropping down on on the thing. Maybe just pick them up from over here. There we go. Stop picking up my wood, dude! <laughs> I don't know how, unless you're like exploiting or something like that, but you are not supposed to be able to touch my wood. <laughs> there we go. Alright, let's get this in there. Let's get it all claimed and and planked out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> code. This video won't be long. Also code. 36 minutes later. <laughs> this is going to be like one of those things. Bam! Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> okay, that was kind of cool. Uh, Alright, let's go plank these out. <laughs> that was fun. So, all in all, I, get, I came back with, what, five pieces? of glow and they're not going to glow after they're they're plank they just they're just regular anyhow the adventures of yellowwood yay all right all right then yoink <laughs> snuck that right in on you <gasps> sorry buddy sorry <laughs> Sorry about the good. All good, bro. Having fun. Having fun. I don't think I've ever gotten mad at somebody just having fun. So. Alright, let's do this. Uh, outro time? Outro time! Get your selfies here. Your seal fees. Get your seal fees here. Get your seal fees. Thank you, everyone, for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Prime. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos like a good YouTuber does. But it's your choice. If you... Ooh. Ooh. If you want. You don't have to subscribe. I love you guys very much. Have a great night. Have a great Friday. Have a great weekend. We'll see you again on Monday, maybe? Don't forget, we have karaoke in the Discord tonight. Come sing. And then tomorrow night, we have um, live stream in the afternoon. Hopefully, my air conditioner is going to be working. And then we have live stream uh, that night. And then right after, we have family movie night. Saturday night, family movie night. Grab some snacks. Grab some sodas. Come watch the movie with us. <laughs> Love you guys very much. Have a great night. And we'll talk to you soon. Outro.